そこまでだいろいろと容疑はあるがとりあえず時間外活動の拘束違反により全員反省室へ連行する僕が生徒会長となったからには貴様らに甘い選択はない連れて行け What to do guys, Space Art Jobs here, back with another viewer requested seiyu highlights. On this episode, we're gonna talk about a voice actor, or rather, another very prominent voice actress in the industry, Megumi Ogata. She's known for playing roles such as Hanako-kun from Chibaku Shonen Hanako-kun, Ayato Naoi from Angel Beats, Itona Horibe from Assassination Classroom, and especially the rather introverted EVA pilot belonging to the NERF organization, Shinji Ikari from Neo Genesis Evangelion. She's a Japanese voice actress, actress, and singer who was formerly affiliated with Aoni Productions' talent agency. Her birthday is June 6th. 1965, and she's a local of Chiyoida, located at the heart of bristling Tokyo metropolis. At the age of three, she already got her hands on the piano, guitar, bass, and even a cello. Her early exposure to numerous musical instruments may have led to her rising interest in doing plays. And so, during her primary school years, she joined a theatrical company. As well as attending a music vocational school where she would perform at bars and nightclubs. Fun fact after graduating from Toho Girls High School, she was actually attending an oceanography major at Tokai University, a career path that has nothing to do with the entertainment industry. However, due to personal matters, she dropped out and instead, Attended the Showa Onigaku Art Institute, where she graduated from the music department. So, by the time she was 24, her theatrical group disbanded. This was the period where she got to dip her toes into the world of voice acting. And oh boy, it was certainly a new opportunity for her with open arms. Her official debut was the role of Kurama in Yu Yu Hakusho in 1992. And ever since then, she has been featured in numerous anime roles, 9 OVAs, 20 anime films, several video games, 2 tokusatsus, and 3 live actions, as well as being featured in a drama CD series known as Grand Stage Dai Udokai, amongst popular names that y'all may recognize, such as Marina Inoue, Eri Kitamura, Mitsuki Saiga, And Megumi Tomoguchi. Although she has been playing a wide range of characters from popular series such as Sailor Moons, Dangaranpa, Yu Gi Oh! and of course Evangelion, but it was perhaps her very first role as Kurama that actually brought her home Best Voice Actress and Best Male Character Award at the 17 Anime Grand Prix in 1994. Alongside with the category of Voice Actor of the Year, according to the annual polls conducted by readers of the Animage magazines on their 200th issues, which serve as a testament for her diversity of roles that she portrayed. From child to adult, serious to comical, she offered a coaster of emotions to every single one of her characters, especially Sinji. It comes to the point that it caused her some physical pain due to the nature of the EV1 character who constantly abused by the angels. She often needed to sit down at a spot to clear her mind before continuing the recording session. Albeit, this wasn't as extreme as that time when she was quote unquote 
strangling Asuka's voice actress Yuko Miyamura during a session for that scene from Anime Evangelion. Overall, her coarse and almost male-like voice are often popular among shonen roles, as in role of young boys. Moreover, her witty personality made her the perfect individual for hosting her radio shows, in which one of them, due to the nature of her voice acting ability, her fans often refer to her as Aniki, like she's some sort of fearsome leader of a bike gang who would scold her fans. Well, spoiler alert, that's what she actually did. She rounded up collecting over 2,000 postcards and made her show amongst the most popular of all time. Speaking of radio shows, it should be pointed out that she does more than just voice acting. While already hosted 8 broadcast and internet radio shows, she also hosted 2 additional personal shows, including a sort of reality show, Ski no Yurini Aima Show, which I think is the perfect segue to talk about her musical career as a J-pop artist. Having gained experiences from projecting Shinji's excruciating pain every time when he's out on the field, plus the fact that she enrolled from a college music and her time at a theatrical company back in high school, means that she also had what it takes to become a professional singer and songwriter, where she was able to produce both low and calming to high and intense vocal range. The kind of vocal performances that she managed to have released dozens of albums, singles, and a couple of live performances. Her first album, Half Moon, was released under record label company Tokuna Japan Communications in 1994. It's an 11-track mini-album in which she mostly contributed to the lyrics for the final track, which has the same title as the album. The album reached number 47 on the Oricon Weekly Charts and reserved the spot for two consecutive weeks. Throughout her music career, she released more albums, including another 11 track for Sony Music Label in which she was mostly credited for the lyrics, which was released about a year after her debut. And eventually, she came up with her own stage name for her musical side of things, known as MU, which was a clever disguise for her initials as Megumi Ogata. It was during the release of one of her albums in 2001. She also released two any song albums from various series that she also played in, which shared the same name as Anime Gu, one back in 2007, and another was on her 25th anniversary of her career in 2017. And during this time, overseas fans were having issues of purchasing her work, leading to expensive shipping fees and, eventually, piracy of her contents. In response, she launched a crowdfunding campaign aiming to reach $7,000 for fans to purchase her 25th album internationally. As a result, it became a highly successful strategy ended up receiving donations that went four times the original amount. Also, it is worth mentioning that time when Animage Magazine held a contest where readers submit their date plans for a chance to win an actual date with Megumi Ogata. It was called Doki Doki Deto. You know, like dating? The lucky winner got a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to spend a day with the voice actress herself. So, yeah. And not only providing the fans with all the best that she could to enjoy her work, she also launched a talent agency where she's hoping to make it a place for people who are interested in music and voice acting and allow them to network with relevant partners to find work. And it was her major input into the voice acting industry that had also brought her home the title of Best Lead Voice Actress at the 16th Annual CU Awards in 2022, 
What's interesting was that she was a bit hesitant about this award, but in the end, she took the honor to address her statement regarding gender roles in the voice acting industry, as well as making a positive engagement regarding the fact that by accepting the awards, she could influence her fellow voice actresses to pursue playing protagonist roles. Effectively, it was her intention to break the gender boundaries in voice acting and promote inclusivity, which is good for her on that front. Knowing that she has dedicated so much for her fans, as well as really stands out on what she really believes in. As hardcore fans who have been keen on her interesting journey from diverse beginnings to local stardom, we simply would like to wish her all the best and many more exciting projects ahead. I hope you guys enjoyed this latest segment, especially the one who proposed this idea in the first place. If you want to see more of this kind of content, be sure to leave a like, drop some comments, and I cannot stress this enough, please consider subscribe. Also, remember to turn on that notification bell because this year, I'm gonna try my best to finish all the requests that y'all have sent in so far. That's a wrap for the Seiyuu highlights. I'm Space Sajobs, and I shall see you on the flip side.